My name's Miranda Atti and I'm here at the Maisto e Associati booth at the IFA Congress in London. We're going to be talking about the MLI and the ATAD today and joining me is Stuart Doma. Thank you for joining us. Hi. Now you're here from the University of Amsterdam and we're here to talk about the MLI which has now entered into force for 31 jurisdictions. How does that affect source taxation? under tax treaties? Well, of course, the MLI reinforces the right of source states to levy, for example, withholding taxes on outgoing dividends, interest royalty payments, but also in other uh, situations. And for and the principal purpose test uh, enshrined in the MLI uh, will enable source countries to be more effective in enforcing their source uh, taxation rights. You see that also, for example, in the uh, international hiring out of labor or the new threshold for permanent establishment. So definitely, um, uh, source countries um, are strengthened by the MLI. And do you see any significant overlapping or interaction between the ATAD and the MLI? Well, that's um, a very interesting question uh, and the answer to that is no. I don't see that much overlap because uh, Article 6 of the ATAD, the Anti-Tax Avoidance Directive, uh, has no meaning of its own. It only says that, that uh, let's say, a local tax administration should disregard wholly artificial arrangements. Um, so I don't think that there is much interaction. What you do see, however, and that's, I think, a very interesting development, that taxpayers will use the general uh, anti-abuse doctrine of the Court of Justice for their own benefit. Because in situations which are covered by EU law, for example, covered by the parent subsidiary directive, um, situations which are not abusive should of course receive the benefits of the parent subsidiary directive. So an exemption from withholding tax. Um, so if you don't abuse the parent subsidiary directive you should get an exemption not, not withstanding uh, the MLI. So that will be an interesting development I think. And you're based in the Netherlands. What's been your experience so far of implementing the ATAD and the MLI? No. The Netherlands is very keen on uh, being best in class in this, uh, in this area. So we have almost fully implemented the MLI, fully compliant with the ATAD, fully, fully compliant with all the international uh, standards, uh, also focusing on dispute resolution. I think that is a very important uh, area. There will be more uncertainty, there will be more disputes. So we have, also, of course, also opted in the Netherlands for arbitration. And uh, I think that many more countries should do that. Are the MLI and the ATAD likely to make some European countries more attractive than others for the location of US groups headquarters? Well, probably yes. Uh, I cannot, uh, let's say, give you specific countries, but if I were a US group uh, looking for a country or an, an EU member state to place my um, uh, regional headquarters, I would look in a country with a good participation exemption no withholding tax on outgoing payments in, in uh, genuine uh, situations, uh, a stable tax climate, the opportunity to get certainty in advance and, uh, and a good system of dispute resolution. So clarity for the future. Some fascinating issues at play there. Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure.